Attention and now. So this is the week one through three video for intermediate class. All right, let's start with our front kicks. Already, attention and bow. Kicking stance, loud yell. So to warm up for front kicks, I would bring your knee up, then do a kick, and bring it back down. So let's do this kind of slow. So show me knee up, then kick, then bring it back down. Do it again, knee up, then kick, bring it back down. Tell you what, if I say one, you bring it up. If I say two, do your kick. If I say three, bring it down. But I'm not gonna go in order. I'm gonna go out of order. So ready, one, two, two, three. Again, one, two, 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 three, one. Balance, balance, focus, balance. Two, 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 two. three. Jump switch your legs. Let's warm this leg up. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Out of order. Two, 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 two. Two, 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 three. Jump switch your legs. One more warm up. When I count, you do the entire kick with the yell. Remember always, you should curl your toes up and out of the way. The part of your foot you hit with is called ball of the foot. So obviously never with toes, that would really hurt. Um, sometimes when I say curl the toes back, I've seen kids curl them under. Yeah, that's the backwards way. It should be up up and out of the way so you can hit with the ball of the foot. So here we go on my count. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 8, 9, 10. Jump switch. Same thing on this side. Ready? One, hit with the ball of your foot. Two, curl your toes back. Three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome, attention, and down. Now your legs should be warmed up. So the two kicks we're working on is called jump front kick, where you jump straight up in the air, and then shuffle step front kick. So let's start with jump front kick. So if I'm hitting the bag, maybe start about an arm's distance from the bag, or if you're just hitting the air, that's fine too. You're gonna jump straight up off of both legs at the same time. When you're floating in the air, then you'll do your kick, and then of course you land in your feet. So just like this, just real simple, you just jump straight up, kick, and then land. I'll do five with each leg, but then you can pause the video and do 10 with each leg, or 100 with each leg, as many practicing as you like to. So ready? One, two, three, four, five. Let's try the other side, ready? One. Pause the video, do at least 10 with each leg, and then after that, start the video again. And then the second kick is called shuffle step. Now, if I was standing sideways, this is what happens. My front foot comes back about halfway. My rear foot does like a cross step, and then I'll do the front kick. Now, when I do all the shuffling, my hips and shoulders, they don't twist and turn. My hips and shoulders, they stay exactly how they are. So front leg comes out halfway, Cross step forward, and then kick, or if I was facing the bank, maybe I'm a little bit further than arms reach, so I, you know, I can barely reach me if I reach my arm out. Front foot come back halfway, cross step, and then kick. Actually, I'm gonna move that bag back just a little bit. Anyway, and there's a rhythm to this kick. The rhythm is one, two, three. So it goes like this, it goes one, two, three. You can see I'm traveling forward a little bit, it's almost like my body weight is getting into the kick. And the, that, that rhythm, that one, two, three, makes it sometimes hard to anticipate when the kick is coming. So sometimes this kick is used as a fake. Also, this kick is used so that way, normally if I use my front leg, it's more for speed than for power. But if I shuffle it, now my front leg became my rear leg. Even at a close range, I still get a really powerful kick. So let's try it together. So front one back. Rear one forward, and then kick. One more time, slow. Halfway back, cross step, kick. Here we go, ready? One, two, three, four, five. Jump switch your legs. So I'm 
Remember, halfway back, cross step forward, kick. Also, watch my hips and shoulders. They don't twist and turn, they don't do this. If you do that, you become really open as you switch, and it makes it easy to see when the kick is coming. So you do it with no twisting, no turning. Ready, get set, one. Now, so pause the video, do at least 10 with each leg. Also, we've been working on the hand strike set. So attention about horse riding stance loud. Yep. So the first move of hand strike set is just the knife hand strike. Fingers are tight, thumb is tight. You're supposed to use the belayed edge right here. That's what actually does the strike. So the starting position is going to be up to the side. Now, if you notice my hand, it actually faces away from me. That way at the last moment when I strike, it can turn and snap. Make it the same level as the jaw or the side of the neck. That would have been the target a long time ago. So bring it up and bring it across like this. Snap at the last moment. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Let's try the other hand. Fingers tight, thumb tight. Starts palm facing away. Comes to the front at the last moment. That's when it turns and snaps. Hit with the blade edge, it should be about jaw level. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, or you can try switching hands. Leave this one out there, other one up, and they both move at the same time. This is the hard one. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, Pause the video and do at least 10 with each side, or if you want to, try 10 alternating. That's the hard one. Uh, the second one is called reverse knife hand strike. Same hand position, but instead of starting on this side, reaches across the face by your ear, palm facing your ear, because then at the last moment, it's gonna turn and snap. So I'm still hitting with that blade edge, same target, jaw, maybe side of the neck. We can just do a jaw level. So ready, set, and one, two, three, four, five, other hand, fingers tight, thumbs tight, reach across your face, palm facing your ear, comes across in the front, snaps at the last moment, hitting with that blade edge, ready, set, one, two, three, four, five, or alternating hands, this is a hard one, reach, leave this one there, reach across, move both hands at the same time, Reach across, move both hands at the same time. Ready, sit. One, there's two parts. Two, three, four, five. Pause the video, do 10, 10 with each arm, or try 10 alternating. That's by far the hardest one. Third technique is palm strike. Now the palm strike, keep your fingers tucked in really tight and imagine you're hitting with this part called the palm heel. Now the common mistake is people will straighten their elbow out, but if you look at it sideways, you'll notice that I'll hit with my knuckles then. So there's always just a little bit of a bend, that way you hit with the palm heel. Now if you hit a target, you would figure that out right away, but when you hit in the air, you might not think about it. So, so make sure, so it starts at your hip, goes all the way in front, strikes with the palm heel, Make sure your elbow keeps a slight bend. So this part is the extended part. So ready? One, two, then uh, imagine hitting the point of the chin, maybe, maybe the bridge of the nose. Ready? Three, four, five, other hand. One, your elbow slightly bent. Ready? Two, three, four, five, alternating hands. Ready? One, two, video do 10 on each side or if you want to do the hard one do 10 alternating the hard part is whatever hand at your is at your hip should be a fist and it's gonna be different than the hand in front whether it's a knife hand a reverse knife hand or a palm strike this one should still be fist at the side attention now we have one more uh, piece to practice is called Perry Perry check this is part of our self-defense skills so I'll have Mr. Lemke help me he'll pop in here as my partner how will you be on this side and attention about. So imagine this, this comes from Filipino martial arts. So let's do right leg forward since right arm is our strong side. 
Usually the Filipino martial arts, they put the strong side in the front. And when you punch for this one, our fist is actually gonna look straight up and down, almost like a thumbs up, like karate is good. There you go. If it turns this way, that's like our normal way. Um, this one's different. So he's gonna punch towards me slowly. I'm gonna get my head out of the way a little bit. If you don't get your head out of the way, you might get hit by, his, by the fist. Oops, sorry, I'm all sweaty. That's gross. Okay, so I get out of the way. My left hand is gonna find it. My palm is gonna find his arm. Come all the way back. Then my other one reaches underneath. Does the same exact thing. Parry means, or check means, push down just the slightest amount so there's a clear shot at his face. Then I throw the punch. Parry, parry, check, and a punch. Left hand does parry, right hand does parry, left hand does check, and then I throw it towards him. Parry, parry, check, then he throws it at me. So I'm finding it, it's got a circle this way. If you push sideways, I mean, that could deflect his arm, but now I lost it, now I can't find it. The real goal is that when this comes in, I'm really actually trying to find his arm. Maybe I want to do an arm bar or something like that. So that's a little bit more advanced, but that's where we're kind of where we're heading for like black belt. So anyways, I don't want to push it away. Also, I don't want to miss it because if I missed, uh oh, I get punched in the head. So I get my head out of the way, circle to find it, circle to find it. Check means push down slightly. His turn, circle to find it, circle to find it, push down slightly. And when we get good at it, it becomes a flow drill where we go back and forth like this. Maybe you can train your mom or dad to do this with you. And we just get better and better at working at finding the arm. This is what we do in the office all day when we're not working on karate stuff, so. Okay, anyway, thanks Mr. Lemke, attention a bow. So that's called Perry Perry Check. That's probably the hardest part for this week. And, but I know you can get it figured out. Let's do one more thing. Tension about horse riding stance loud. Yep, Ayo. karate punches, hand in front, ready? One, Ayo. two, Ayo. three, Ayo. four, Ayo. five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Attention, and out.